Hey guys, Jamstrap here and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to give you guys five super quick and easy tips on how to convert up some intercessors, but I mean this can go for like reavers or any of the kind of like foot soldiers for primaris marines. And yeah, emphasis on simple, so there's not going to be too much crazy nonsense here, it's just give them a little bit of flavor, sticking some things on some of them a bit more than others, but yeah. It should be relatively quick just so you guys can maybe get some ideas or whatever you want to do. And at the end, towards the end of the video, as you can see this guy, you might think, oh, he's just a standard Primaris looking dude. What I'm going to do is, towards the end, like I said, just show you guys how to green stuff, some like fur pelts or anything like that, like super easy. So no special tools, nothing, no like sculpting tools. All you're going to need is a hobby knife. Everybody's, well, I assume everybody's got one of these. So, like most of us, not all of us have fancy tools and stuff like that, like a lot of, like, YouTubers might have. I mean, I don't have any either. I just use this. And I think it makes pretty effective, like, fur pelts and stuff like that. And, yeah, it might need, like, a back of a paintbrush handle or something, but we'll get to that. So, yeah, like I said, end of the video, I'll give you guys some green stuffing. And for the other four guys, I'm just going to... Do some standard kit bashing, some snipping and gluing and all that kind of stuff just to give them a bit of flavor. So some other stuff you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need clippers, your hobby knife, green stuff if you want to do some green stuff. Now if you want you can get a transfer sheet for like the shoulder pads or whatever. Or you get one of the Primaris Space Wolves upgrade sprues. Now you can get one of these or one of the older standard space wolf upgrade screws i'd recommend getting this one because you get like kind of the standard shoulder pads but get the old one as well because you get some really unique looking shoulders and like blades and nile axes and stuff like that you should at least have one of the old school ones in your arsenal of kit bashing anyway without any further ado let's get cracking all right let's go for the first one and what i did forget to mention before is obviously apart from the upgrade sprues and that you will probably want to get some of the standard like grey hunters and all that kind of like one of them kits or at least find some bits on ebay because obviously you buy one of those kits or maybe find some bits and you're pretty much sorted to kit bash loads and loads of intercessors and aggressors or whatever you want that's a pretty good place to start so yeah as you can see i've actually got some like blue tack on here because i kind of pre-fit, dry-fit these guys like bits and I recommend you doing the same thing. So get some blue tack, stick the bits somewhere and you, you can get a proper look at it before you start gluing stuff. But yeah, I'm going to clean off all the blue tacks. I know how I want mine going and then we're going to get cracking again. All right, so I'm going to start off with the easiest thing and the main bit of like snipping and clipping in this for this dude. So I've got this like wolfy dagger knife thing over here and i've got this primaris arm here with this little blade and everything now i thought instead of using the standard like sheath that comes with the primaris kit give him a wolfy one just to give them that extra bit of spice so what i'm going to do is obviously this one's already got a handle in it so i'm going to snip it there super simple 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 just get that on the line push down snip it off and then i'll be good to go so let's try get that done. This stuff is always much harder to do on camera. Okay. Just needs a bit of cleaning up if I can focus. Yeah, just clean that up a little bit, but then you pretty much got a little sheath there. Now all we got to do is stick him together and get him in the right positioning. So let's start off with the head. And if you do this all at the same time, then because plastic glue takes a bit to like seal up so you can move everything around. So let's get the arms on. Yeah, oh, that was a bit too much there, but you know, doing shit on camera is not easy. First thing, the weapon's probably going to dictate his direction the most. And I forgot to mention actually, this is a, a bolt gun from the Space Wolves kit, which, you know, I'm just going to it's going to be proxied as a bolt rifle yeah we're going to get it up like that see if there's any gaps anywhere 
because it doesn't fit 100% but I think it's not bad so yeah kind of got that there then I've got this head from the up uh, primary upgrade sprue but you can use whatever space wolvie or intercessor head you want get that on there make sure he's kind of looking in the right direction next is get his little knifey arm going on and at this point you just kind of position it the way you feel comfortable with it without getting glue all over it like i am and now we just got to find a good place for the little sheath i'm going to quickly level it up clean it up and then try to find a good place to put that all right so i got that on there probably not the l most logical or best place to put it because i put it i mean so if you think about like the handle of the blade is going to be a bit further up than that but it, it seemed like sometimes you know you just got to go for a rule of cool didn't really want to fit on the front it didn't look quite right i mean you could put it across the belt or whatever you want but yeah easy as pie you got yourself a wolfy sheath there with one little snip and you just got that proxy bolt rifle whatever i don't think anybody's gonna complain about the fact that it's a bit shorter or whatever Alrighty, take two i actually just recorded this and realized i didn't press the record button but yeah next guy i'm going to be doing is the intercessor sergeant through like faqs and all that kind of stuff they're allowed to have power fists now and well i've got this bad boy lying around and i really wanted to use it so he's going to be wielding that thing and because he's going to be running up and smashing tanks i thought i'd give him a, a full helmet instead of giving him like just a head or something like that and i thought this one was like the kind of extra metal parts and the riveting and stuff just kind of gives him a bit of a, a stronger appearance i should say and then I've just got these two bits here so he can be holding his gun. Let's get the gun stuck on first then. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention because this is my second time recording this is all these bits that I'm currently using on this guy are from the Grey Hunter kit. Nothing is from like Primaris or anything like that. So you got this arm and you can glue a gun on there. Usually this one is used and you'll have like another arm that kind of tucks under the hand grip there so he'll be holding it like that but obviously he's just going to be holding it one-handed this time slide that on there got that on there pretty decent i added a little bit of glue down there because i always like to make sure my models are extra reinforced so they don't fall apart too easily just slap it on where you want it to go yeah i think that's pretty decent got the head on there we just got to get it the angle we want all right and that's that dude not the the greatest movement or kid bashing i've ever done to be honest but like i said these videos are just for giving you guys ideas and how to go about your own things you obviously don't need to copy what i'm doing and you can learn from my mistakes but i don't think that looks too bad all right so my next dude i've kind of got an assaulty theme because obviously there are they are space wolves after all but yeah another guy getting ready to pull out a blade so this is part of the primary space wolf upgrade kit i believe and i'm actually using just the standard primaris head like i said before you only got a certain amount of space wolf heads available to you and when you got loads of guys you don't want to use them all up in one small squad and i mean who says space wolves are all got beards and stuff like that they maybe there's some guys just likes to be bald and he's scarred and angry looking so that's good enough so i reckon the best place to start with this guy is probably getting his knife on there so let's get that on first so yeah get that arm lined up so it looks like the knife is i mean the sheath of the knife is attached to the belt like that that's pretty spot on next step is the gun like i said this one is super easy to do just stick that bad boy like that so it kind of looks like he's getting his bolter out the way so he can draw a blade and slice someone up that's in close combat just pop his head in there and once again you can use whatever head you want you can use a helmet if you want to pick one of your special space wolfy heads but yeah just get this guy kind of he looks like he's running down that way he's screaming at someone's face for some close combat but yeah i'm pretty happy with that and on to the second last one before i start green stuffing okay so one of the last final super quick tips on kid bashing now this one's going to require a little bit more precision work on the snipping half and i've always wanted to have a reason to 
get this into one of my kits. So I'm trying to focus in there. There's a little like touch screen talky pad thing. So yeah, I'm going to be using that in there. And obviously, once again, clean your mold lines. I haven't done it yet, but I will later. And we'll get back to those bits in a minute. But what I, the main converti work I'm going to do is, you got this arm here. That's up in there with the little bolt pistol. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to snip that hand off by the wrist there. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Now, what you could do is, you can cut it by that angle there, that second little rivety part there. And you can cut that one by its like second rivety part there. And then you, it's going to be super simple. But if you want to get it by the actual wrist there, because obviously that bolt pistol goes over a bit. So you're going to have to be quite careful. You're going to want to snip there first and then there. But it just depends on how you want to do it. I'm going to do it the harder way. So I'm going to do it off screen because doing this on camera is going to be way too difficult. And I'll get back to you guys when it comes to gluing it on. All right, so that one's snipped off. So I got the back end like that. Just got to make sure it's level. We'll do a dry fit in a minute. Once I've snipped off the one from this gun, but this one should be pretty simple. So I'll do that quickly. And all right, so that hands off. Once they're both snipped, just kind of shave them off like this make sure they're nice and level so they fit together well and let's glue them together and boom i really think that pistol gives that guy quite a bit of presence now it's a lot more chunkier it's a lot more wolfier and it's a really really simple conversion all you're doing is snipping one off one end one off like and it doesn't look too bad i mean it's still really wet it's not quite in place yet but you guys get the drift now i'm going to be moving on to the green stuff boy okay so to start with the green stuff generally you want to go about 50 50 uh, so one depending on how you want it like i know if you have a bit more of one side it'll be a bit softer the other side will be a bit harder but if you're new to it and you're watching this just go 50 50 and then what you want to do is you just want to mash it up just keep smooshing it until it goes green so that both colors mold together what you also want to do is you need some water because this stuff does get sticky and you will need it to work on it. So always keep it wet. But yeah, mold it around. And you will want like a flat surface. I've got a bit of water on there. I'm going to be pinning it out on that in a bit. But yeah, just keep doing that. I know some people chew it and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be doing that. And yeah, just do that and I'll get back to you guys once mine's ready. Alrighty, so that's pretty much mixed together get myself a little ball here like i said you want some sort of flat surface or whatever i'm just going to use this my little makeshift wet palette lid okay i've probably got too much water on there get it out of the way or just do it on your desk or whatever you want make the surface wet and then what i'll do is just use this part to kind of like pin it out like that so you get a nice flat surface depending on what you're doing of course but get a nice flat one then you can kind of cut it into the shape that you want before you move it onto the object okay so usually i wouldn't do this on my desk but for ease of filming just kind of put it on there you know made it a ball and you just kind of pin it out make sure your tools wet make sure the surface is wet so i've got a bit of a hard bit there because i think that was a bit that was out in the air for too long but I mean, if you've got the shoulder pad on, you can put it like, you, know, you can get it over the shoulder pad, make some fur on the shoulder so you don't have to put a logo on there. Get some of the back here, get a little loincloth. But for this particular dude, I'm just going to get a bit of that on there, make it waving around. So that's actually not a bad length there already. So I'm going to cut that to shape, put a bit of super glue down there, get that green stuff stuck on there. Okay, so this hasn't gone exactly the way I wanted it to go. For some reason, I don't know if it's the new super glue I've used, but this area has gone hard really quickly. And obviously I need to shape that and everything. So what I'm going to do is, luckily it's fur, so obviously you can put a bit more on and work it in. So I'm going to put a bit more extra of the leftover green stuff on the sides just to strengthen there, put it on top there, and I'll get back to you guys. I managed to strengthen it up, and I mean it is fur, so it's perfectly cool to have layers on it. Got it to a kind of better length that I want. The thing was too long before, and all you got to do now, if I can get this in focus, 
obviously around the the belt area you kind of wanted to just tuck in a bit into the actual plastic of the minion these parts that I've reinforced just get them in there make sure it's all nice in the way you want it and then basically what I do to get the kind of fur texture to it especially along the edges just take the sharp of your blade if this is focusing in at all yeah and always make sure your tools and your hands and whatever you're using to touch it is wet because our screen stuff can be a bit of a nightmare i'm going to try to do this on camera just kind of you want it to don't just slice it kind of try and pull it even use the back and pull the fur out a bit and just keep working it until you get something you like so like i said just keep nipping and like tucking it up as well just pulling it and sometimes pieces will cut off and what you do is you just push it back down and it kind of just looks like strands and especially along the bottom here got a like so this is just the first like rough work you kind of want to see pull the edges out a bit and then you can kind of come back and tidy it up a bit later just get all of the green stuff looking kind of like that and then i'll get back to you guys something i should also mention as well while i'm going at it these parts here it's dangling and if you want to nip that just, just use the end of your paintbrush kind of get it in there somewhere just to give you something to push up against when you're doing like let's see if i can do this on camera just so you've got a surface to press against so yeah that's just the tip for that and like i say you just keep on going until you get to like a level if you want i mean if you want to go super simple you can literally just just kind of like dab it like that and you kind of get like all few marks but the way i like to do is cut it and kind of like fold it back on itself and pull it and stuff like that you kind of get like a loose fur kind of thing going on another thing you can do as well if this top part if you don't want it to be fur you kind of want it to be like a that's the flat like flesh the the leather bit so you can make that really smooth make like a lapping over part and the bottom can be fur i've just kind of gone, gone for pure fur on this one so far like I said, just keep on going and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done so you can kind of see what I've done. All right, so what I've, I've actually decided I'm going to make it like a little leathery flap there. So what I do is, like I said, this is a video of not using any special tools. Use a back of your paintbrush, get it wet, preferably a thinner one than this. And you can actually smooth out green stuff just using that. Look at that. See, if you get a smaller paintbrush in there, you can push it and you can make a little curve. Let me actually get one quick see get a smaller one and you can push it in deeper and you can make little folds and stuff like that as well and because i didn't really pre-plan to get this fold and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the hobby knife and i'm just going to make little indents around like that just to kind of separate it a bit just keep on smoothing it and then you know kind of adding in folds and flaps and all that kind of stuff all right guys so not the the best green stuffing I've ever done to be perfectly honest like i said just keep slicing and like plucking it up like that and folding it in on itself like that so you can kind of looks like the hairs are a bit raised like I say pull a bit up like that don't know if you can see that then push it back down just kind of get the edges going and then when you're ready just kind of move it into the position you want it to kind of be blowing in the wind and then it'll dry that way so what i will do is show you guys some examples of previous work i've done so you can kind of get some ideas of where else to do it and how it could actually look like when once it's been painted or different locations that's kind of the result you'll get just using a hobby knife and maybe a back of a paintbrush all right so here's some i've done before now as you can see this one here it's kind of what i was going for for today but it didn't really work out green stuffed it in there and I actually pressed that and then glued that so it kind of looks like it's part of it a bit more but you can see that looks way better definitely looks a bit more fur and animal skinny and i think that turned out pretty well and here's actually the first attempt i ever had ignore the the color of it but yeah that's one version of the shoulder pad so you got the fur you got kind of like the leathery skin of it folded over and yeah that's some examples you can do like say if you don't want to put logos you put them on there give them some loincloths whatever hopefully 
it's been somewhat helpful for you guys now i'm going to build up the rest of the team get the shoulder pads backpacks all that kind of stuff and now i'll cut to a nice little showcase and show you guys what it looks like when they're done Alright guys, so that's it for this one. Hope that you found this video slightly enjoyable and maybe it's given you guys some ideas and inspiration how, on how to kid bash your Primaris dudes. Like I said before, it's all very super simple, no tools needed, just gives it an extra bit of flavor. And if you're interested in any more kid bashing Space Wolfy videos or any hobby content like this, check my channel out and subscribe because I make videos like that all the time, especially Space Wolfy ones. I've done quite a few already. Check them out and I'll see you guys in the next one.